really wet. Wow, we're gonna do some muddy enduro in the woods today. Doing an event, like a play day. So you pay and play. And obviously I'm a bit of a cheapskate, I didn't bring enough money. <laughs> so I just gotta go drop some cash off. There's a lot of people here though. It's gonna be absolute carnage. It's wet, it's muddy. It's raining. There's fog, wind, every bit of bad weather you could possibly think of is here, right now. Sorry, no, I, I owed you that 25 pounds. Oh, lovely. Thank Got you it? very much. Alright, thank you. Ready to get muddy. So I'm out with Hugh today, 100% Hugh, and his girlfriend, Rianne. So she's just got her license now. She's done a few, like, play days, so building up her confidence, going to get us straight in those mucky woods. It's like a seven mile loop or something. So we'll see how we get on. It's, um, I still haven't changed my tire. It's been like four months we've been talking about it. But we're here and I'm excited. I guess I'm going first. Woohoohoo! I don't know where I'm going, so I don't know why I'm going quick. So yeah, apparently it's like a seven mile loop with uh well, I guess a lot of water. We don't really don't know how deep they are. <laughs> I love the mud. I hate this. What's this? People go around, do they? Let's try to go around there, Jerry. Oh, never go around. My apologies for the rain. I'm going to try and wipe the lens as much as possible. But it depends. It all depends if I get arm pump. Then I'm just going to have to buy little windscreen wipers for them. I'm a dirt bike boy on my KTM. I've had a TPI and i got no friends. We'll see how this tyre does today. The skill levels of myself and Marvis are 10 out of 10. Tyre, well, that's the only thing that's going to let me down. Definitely not talent. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more events. Um, it's something I'm debating. Racing is not really something that I, I think I'd enjoy. Because I like to have a laugh, you know? I like to mess around a little bit. So you've got to do what you love to do, innit? Whether you're good or not, right? This is cool. I like this. This is the kind of stuff I like. And I used to hate downhills, but the more I, I did them, the, well, the more the boys forced me to do them, if i being completely honest. It's good to ride with people better than you, because they will push you into uncomfortable positions that you don't like and you don't want to do. When you do it, you realise, ah, oh, it's not as bad as you thought. And then you realise you're swallowing bogeys the whole way down this hill and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, that is disgusting. Okay, now I can. Oh, okay. Bogey gone. Oh, that looks deep. <laughs> Good job I got waterproof socks on, eh? <laughs> At least, uh, like, we need like a big, big hill climb is what we need. Well, oh, maybe not. Hands are dead. Leave a like if you enjoy the mud. Leave a like if you don't, just leave a like kind of stuff. Do you realise you're coming to these events? Some people are fast. Like, really fast. Like, I thought I was quick as fuck, yeah? No. I know. It's hard for you to believe. Because I know you watch my videos, you're like, Phew, imagine keeping up Midwest. Impossible. But then you come here, and I'm not lying. I swear to you, I am not lying. Please believe me. There are people faster than me. It's crazy. You really get humbled when you come to these events. 
Into the darkness we go. Darkness is my friend. Not that guy's friend. Alright mate, you good? Yeah, good, you? I think that's the good thing about having a YouTube channel is you get to meet so many people. Because I don't know anyone, but people recognize me and then they come and chat and uh, yeah, I get to meet cool people. So I recommend everyone starting a YouTube channel just because it's good camaraderie between the boys and the girls. There's also a good thing about two strokes on Enduro. You can hear them coming pretty quick behind you. And I was saying, don't want to get wet. Oh, okay. Okay, that was a bad time to say that. Whoa. Okay, that, okay, that caught me off guard. Enduro is taking over, boys and girls. It's taking over. Best sport in the world. Like, some of you may look at this and think, how can you enjoy that? Try it. I dare you. Try it. You will absolutely fall in love with it. And when you realize these bikes can actually go anywhere, that's the most fun thing. And it's an adventure. It's an adventure, look at this. Like this is a pay and play venue, but you just turn up, you're in the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Oh. I will do this as long as physically and mentally possible. Mentally not a problem, I am a giant child. Physically, well, we all get old one day, don't we? Mud in the eye, mud in the eye. Roosting in the eyeballs, not, not fun. I just overtook someone, highlight of my life. And I'm gonna jinx myself, but screw it. I haven't crashed today. Oh, nearly went. <laughs> oh, you! Next time, take it slower, like that. All right, back in the van, having a bit of a breather and warming up, got the heaters on full blast just spilled yogurt all over myself anyway got yogurt got a sandwich and the best uh, also Jeff Gates curious to know like when you when all of you go to a ride event or a race or whatever what do you eat before during and after well you can't eat during the race but you know what I mean like what do you take for the day I'm just quite curious to know what people's diets are like what gives you more energy I kind of eat crap to be honest but I'm trying to be healthier so once I finish the Harry Bows I'm on a new wave then so leave it in the comments below what you take to a track with you and that will be really good information thanks so what I'm gonna do now is wait for the rain to stop because it's absolutely hammering it down so in my pre-editing mind editing on the go I'm thinking the next part of this video will be a full lap, uncut, kind of raw for all you GoPro raw enthusiasts. I'll still be talking shit, so that's fine. And we're gonna run into a lot of carnage, but I'm just gonna leave it raw without any cuts. And then you can see the full lap in its full element. And then we'll have a uh, discussion at the end. So let's go. Well, the weather's not got any better. It's only got worse, so I had to come out. Oh my God, it is hammering it down. So, Bear with me, because I'll just have to keep wiping the lens on this one. I'll do my best for you. They've all got racing numbers, so I'm guessing they're fast. Okay, here's where we're going to get mud in the eyes. Oh, we need to get in the trees. Big time. Give me trees.
Oh my, I've never seen weather like this in my life. It wasn't this bad when I first came out. Look at this. This is amazing. <laughs> Uh, not so amazing without goggles, jeez. People say hello. If you see me, say hello. Or help me, because I'm usually stuck. I'm just so can't wait to get in the woods. Just some section of woods. This is too open for me. I'm wet. you here Race numbers, yeah. Always let people pass with race numbers. I've learned that. Maybe I should put race numbers on. They won't let me pass. That's a good show, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh oh. Screaming two stroke in front. Oh my god, look at this. It wasn't that deep a minute ago. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot, but it is. I, I can't explain. I don't know if the GoPro is picking up. It might be because you can't see, but I have to just try and keep wiping the lens for you to join me on this lap. Plus, I wanted to leave this lap kind of um, raw, so I want to know how long the lap is, even though we're not going crazy fast right now because there's loads of riders, but it's a good thing because. I'm at the back, and usually at the back, you get all the good footage. That's what I've learned over the years. But this is definitely going to be a longer lap than normal. Trees! course though right very cool
<laughs> I don't know, there's probably so many of you watching this being like, why, why would that be fun? But mud is so much more fun. Mud is so much more fun. Summer riding is all good in that, it's good for the views, but riding in general, mud, mud's where it's at. Let me know if you agree. The steep descent. This looks nothing on GoPro, I already know. Whoa. Loose rocks everywhere as well. Oh! Just me and all my friends riding our bikes. We're friends, we don't know each other, but definitely friends. Everyone's full waterproofed up here. Not me. Got the unit gear on. It's not waterproof. Looks cool, looks fly. So at least I look good. Words, words, words. I bet the race will be so cool tomorrow because it's, it's a big loop, but it's, it's cool, it's challenging. You right? We should have gone in that one, what am I doing over here? Look at this! <laughs> it's the yucky stuff I like this, this wet, like sticky mud. Love it. Uh-oh. off a bit. This one's deep. Oh, bumpy. Very bumpy. Another deep one. going for it. 
a little bit more, not much, but a little bit. That's so bumpy, so bumpy, it's ridiculous. That's a tree in the face. <laughs> Don't ride one-handed. Even though it's not got much grip, it does today. That was cool. Got a girl in front doing a bit of an enduro, that's good to see. But hey, holding people up. This track has got so much worse since my last lap. It's crazy. So much worse. But maybe worse in a good way, I'm not sure. 
bigger ruts, wetter sections. Just gooey. There's a river here now, what the hell? There's Arm Pump Hill that's somewhere that will be coming up soon and I hate it, I absolutely hate it sit down on the fire rose just to give you a little bit of a break <sighs> where are we going in it what that lens okay Crazy. following your kids around like just I don't know I feel like it'd be pretty cool if you had a kid and you just following him around on his bike arm pump hill here it is look at it I'm actually taking this a little bit slower than normal because oh, hang on I might have found something over here on the how oh uh... I'm roosting my face off. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so tired. I don't even be going that fast. This rain though needs to go away. So I'm thinking buy myself some land because we all, we ride a lot of land that the owners we know oh farmers hill farmers but i think i need to buy myself some land make an enduro course and just have it open all year round for everyone to have like 15 mile loop or something what do you think maybe we should all chip in for it we can all all enduro people can be owners Cheer, buddy. in the mouth. We're done with uh, trying to stay dry now, aren't we? But there is one that's really big. It's this one. I came flying through it. 
Air filter's really thanking me on that one. Oh, this way, wrong way. See, that's why I wouldn't be good in a race, directions. I'm not good with it. Oh. Oh, the snot is down my face again. I need to get nose plugs. Is there such a thing? Maybe use some tampons or something. Oh. Oh. Right, that's bogey's gone. Now I got a feeling if I wipe this camera. <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of snot. We'll wipe it with the other hand, eh? The last bit of woods. Let's go. This has got worse as well. I guess it'll do that with like 400 bikes coming through it. Absolutely epic, absolutely epic. What a great course war event to put on, so big shout out to them. Uh, keep them coming, I say. I'll hopefully go to a few more. Everyone I met today, it was really nice to meet you. Thanks for saying hello. And as always, thanks for watching Ride Safe, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.